be real. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Absolutely. Cool. I'm gonna be real with you, okay? Yep. My mom, you should rest in peace. You guys know that, right? You guys see the video. Yeah, yeah. 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 My mom, you're not ready to fucking Okay? She's not ready to scream or flip. I know. Okay. Yep, I know you can't really think of good solutions, but this one probably has to be the worst one. So in order to justify your actions, you bring up your dead mother to prove that she didn't raise a predator or a creep. You're gonna bring up somebody that can't even counterject your actions, so that makes you look more innocent. What's next? You're gonna bring up your whole fucking family tree to prove your innocence? Yeah, old granddad Willis died in the war to prove that I'm not a predator. You know, Aunt Martha, she followed my taxes back in 97. That's not enough proof for you? Yeah, well, my uncle bought milk at the corner store a few years ago, and he didn't have to have any change back. He only had $2.90, so I don't know what you want. I mean, he's just desperately trying to grasp hold of excuses, just reaching for the clouds, reaching for any sun rays, and just like some sort of excuse that he can buy himself out of. And it's just not gonna work. He knows that he's trapped. He knows he's gonna push to the corner further and further back, and he knows there's nowhere to go. He can't run anywhere for the end of the He's trying to combat him actually just facing me with the real man, and he's trying not to own up to his mistakes. Now, as a matter of fact, if he was here, we... We're not, we're not here for your family, we're here for you. Yeah. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Don't drag your family. But yeah, this is your 600 pound life. Not, looks like, looks like you're getting anything, everything in the world but the proceeds. We got our own comedian on the stage today, too. So. Thank you a lot. That wasn't a bad one. Loneliness and the actual, you know, like, they decide to blame your sick desires on loneliness. I know this isn't like a common trend for pedals. Like this is just like a handbook 101. The first page of what they do is try to blame their own loneliness on wanting to prey upon children. I, I noticed that a lot of predators say this, and I just don't understand it. I think we can all agree we all been lonely, we all been outcasted, but I think we all been down the dumps and fought our own demons before. Hell, I've been fighting a judo match against Satan for the last month, that's why I haven't been posting. But like, it legitimately, in the bigger picture here, I not once ever thought that a child would resolve all my issues. Like, I never really had that correlation that I thought a child would just solve all my issues. It would just be lifted, a huge weight would be lifted off my shoulders like a map. So to pivot that blame of the concept of loneliness to go after a kid is just fucking remarkable. It never gets old to me, because I just, I, I truly wonder what goes on in people's minds. But Edith, you seem to be more than happy to share what's going on in his mind, because he acting like we all understand that. Right. Right, but Susie had a fat ass. I mean, you see that shit? For 13, she's heading towards the Kardashian level. Like, that's she, she got a badal dog. I mean, it's like watching a garden hose, to be accurate. His words just go through one ear and just fly right out the other. He's not even acknowledging anything. The only thing that's keeping him reasoning with these people is that he's getting caught, and he knows it. Now he's doing whatever predator does. Try to play the victim in the own trap that he set up himself by his own actions. Oh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have waited this long to tell you guys that like he's not the only one getting involved here. There's no hero to root for in this situation. The guy that's standing next to Shiamush is about the only good guy here, because both these people are Pretty much shitty individuals. I'm not on equal terms, but that guy's pretty much racist. He got called multiple times saying the N-word out loud, which is typical in social media star ends. Maybe calling him racist a little bit too much, but still, I mean, I, I don't really get the humor of just saying that shit out loud. But there's also another allegation where he told a legitimate 13 year old that was pretending to play a decoy to get undressed and take pictures for the predator himself. Now, he alleged this as a skit, but you know, there's, there's no really proof on either end, so that's still an allegation. So yeah, it's just two Clash of the Titans right now. Yeah, do you have it? Are you talking to other, other minors on your phone? No, sir. No, not this is the only minor ever only one. Uh, right now on your phone. Only one. Only one. Only one. You sure about that? There was more than one minor because last summer I've had I've had all these females reach out to me about you. What's a ballpark number of how many minors you've talked to? Like, at, you know, there, obviously it's been five. So after five, what would you say the number is? Six. Six. Sure. Six and some broad words to make the situation two times worse. There's actually 10 allegations on EDP going after kids. So the fact that he's trying to even lie about how many kids he's talked to is just opening up the Pandora's box of the possibilities of how many kids were affected by this. How many kids were coerced, manipulated, and just flat out groomed by this fucking sexual deviant, this succubus. I mean, he's almost like Thanos. Instead of chasing after infinity bones, he was chasing after infinity stones. And on the slight chance that you are telling the truth, even if it is six, it's six too many. How pathetic. I know you know a lot of things about clarity because you've been through that a hundred times talking to this girl, but you can at least give us some. You can at least give us some closure. Just have some honesty. Be a man that you constantly brag about being online. I mean, you're building your whole entire reputation and name and channel off of eating that pussy, but you're acting like a huge one right now. A huge fat fupa. You know, the only thing deterring you based on these messages, it wasn't the fact she was young. It was jail time that was deterring you. Yes or no? Okay. So say there's no law. Say we live in an anarchy. You would have followed through with this yes or no had you been able to, correct? Right. I think you deserve to go to jail? Do I deserve to go, yeah. go to jail? If I'm being honest with you, 
You don't think so? I think so. Finally, after 30 consecutive minutes, you actually admit one thing that's true. You should belong in jail. You're absolutely right about that. In fact, you should never get out of it. You should never see the light of day again. You came out here for a cupcake, but cupcake is what you're going to be called in prison. The thing is, if it was a 12-year-old into you, you would have rushed that to the side. Of so course. Yeah, a one-year age gap is really going to turn you into Barfalo Bill and make you blow chunks into the toilet. But a 13-year-old, that's fine. A 20-year age gap, that's perfectly acceptable. But a 21-year-old age gap? Well, you can slap my willy and call me silly because that's just ridiculous. It's going on a never-ending journey to find EP's worst excuse. I thought the cupcake couldn't be needed, but this one takes the whole last cake. So a 12 year old is like a scientific amalgamation. It's absolutely disgusting. You couldn't ever see himself doing it. But if the girl's 13, then that's perfectly fine. We're just going back and forth with these excuses, like it's a game of tennis, even though EDP was trying to show some 15 year olds somewhere. Like, you can only talk about such a sick deviant for so long without getting disgusted yourself, or I guess in these terms, I'll just grow up. So I'm gonna try to wrap this up and show the ending of this monologue I've been going on for almost an hour about, and show EDP's crumbling defeat as he waddles back to his car, hops in, and drives off the road and never be seen again, is what everybody thought until he came back from the video because I mean this guy's a cop though, you can just never get rid of him. I just messaged him uh -huh. <laughs> like hundreds of messages of people calling us, hey, please look into this guy EDP. This guy's a creep. He's had so encounters so with so other so minors so in the past. Please look into him. And guess what? You're out here today. And he proves everybody's point. Right. That they're not so like they're not wrong. You're the person you're the person who's wrong. So you're not exactly wrong, but you're not exactly right either. Where's the cousin? But as you can see, this dirty penny is fumbling for his own thoughts right now. He's like verbally preaching out silence. It looks like a goldfish that just got out of the water, just gasping for his last breath of air. He's just doing what he usually does. Instead of using his mouth as down south, he's using his actual one to practically shoot out blanks. Because this is what a guilty pauper looks like. Live in the action, raw in the flesh. He's practically admitting for all his sins, all his deeds, without even having to say one actual word. A little bit. I mean, he said it. So, so... So say to me, I was in love with the 13-year-old. You know, at this point, I bet this fat ass probably wishes he got caught by Chris Hansen instead of these two. He would probably love to take a seat right now. He's been standing on his like 30 minutes. The next time you text a 13-year-old girl or a 14-year-old girl, there won't be a next time. There won't be a next time. There won't be a next time. That's hard for me to believe. I think. Like right now, you have some type of attitude. You are absolutely. Oh yeah, I don't know if I told you guys, but EDP has a fetish for getting dominated, and I guess he's really running the show right now. He's probably half hard talking to these guys, but he's absolutely getting bitch right now. He looks like he's loving it. Did you ever ask for graphic photos from this girl? I did, but I never received them. Well, I mean, I guess you can be let go then. Listen, I shot the man, but I didn't kill. I broke in his house, but I closed the front door. I did eat ass, but I washed my hands beforehand. Okay, do you also fantasize about being submissive to 13-year-olds a little bit? Yes or no? Right. Okay, so what about a 13-year-old, in essence, dominating? Right. Dominating you turns you on. Right. Well, if you didn't believe me about him getting dominated, there's your fucking proof right there. You want to call the cops? Please don't, man. Why not? How about you call the cops? You call the cops. You want Dude. help? Call the cops. You should call the cops. Call the Go cops. ahead. Please don't. Dude, listen, like, you need to go to jail, man. Hey, he's just my phone to report. You call him? Dude, 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 please, please, please. You call him. You call, call him. him. Call the cops. Explain what's going on. Explain Please. to the cops what you're doing here. Then he waddled away. What's stopping me from pressing the green button? What's stopping me? This is this is type this is like sadist type of here. stuff. I have a phone up in my pocket, right? A phone up in my pocket, right? I'm gonna see, and I'll I'll even do it while you guys are here, okay? But call the cops. Then. No, no, no. I want to call a place to go get help. Tender care is only going to make your addiction worse, so I wouldn't recommend that. So I don't know what number you're planning on calling. I like how he's trying to bargain with him. Like, what he did was just a simple, fixable mistake. Like, he just fix it overnight during the sleep or something. It's just not how it works. Your brain is always wired to be attracted to children, and you prove yourself from time and time again that you're willing to put a lot of risk and dicks on the table in order you to do so. So it just goes to show you go out of your way to get anything that you want. You're not going to get help. No. You had plenty of chances to get help. I Every am. single time you got exposed you guys, for it. You guys are going to be, you guys are going to witness that. Sure. Are you really doing this? You're here to meet a 13 year old. Come on, man. Solicited photos. So you are. Are you really doing this? You have time to apply pressure. Okay, it's. What did I do? Bitch, please. Don't not this is not okay. This is not okay. 
Don't make me laugh. Why does your back flat look like a Lego block? It looks like a Splinter Cell logo. It's not the only cell you're about to see, though. So they broke down this motherfucker so much that he starts praying out to the sun gods to save him. And you can call me a shitty person, but I low key find this humor. I find it funny that he's trying to grab onto this little last of hope that he'd get away unscathed. And then he acts like almost confused and puzzled on why they're calling the police. Like he's acting like a kid that got caught cracking a fastball into a neighbor's windshield. And now they're calling up his parents to report where Derek Jeter just tossed up into the back of their BMW. He's just treating the severity of the situation like it's just no big to do, you know, no biggie. Oh, yeah, no shit, Dick Tracy. That's kind of the fucking point. Grab photos. Ask him to send somebody. Yeah, you're standing still. That's why the ground's moving behind you. Doctor Strange swooped in to investigate the scene. He's warping all the buildings and roads to make sure you don't escape. Plot twist. This is actually a setup for EDP to join a fitness program. The whole entire alleyway is just a big ass treadmill. I'm actually starting to get pissed off by this dude. Like, I really don't. Like, I just don't even want to see his face. I'm trying to wrap this video up as soon as I can. You know how many people told us about you? Hundreds of people said, please look into EDP. Please. This guy's a creep. He's messaging minors. He's hitting up minors. He's doing all this. But here, Mammy the Mammoth tries leaving the tundra, you know, he tries fleeing the scene, it doesn't really work out too well. Matter of fact, they could probably give this man a hundred yard head stuff and probably catch up to him, but the fact that he tried to, like, leave the scene, you know, try to leave the spotlight when the bat single is shining onto him, it's just, it, it's so remarkable. I mean, he's just such a pussy, I don't want to make, like, immature turns, but I don't know what else to say it as. Like, I'm just saying how I see it, I don't even know why you came out here to get pussy in the first place, looks like you already got enough built in you anyway. Apartments. There's somebody here to meet a 13-year-old girl who 